Let's look at the number of lone pairs and bonding pairs for SO2. This is sulfur dioxide. So first off, you may see the Lewis structure written like this here. This would be the best Lewis structure from kind of an academic standpoint where we've minimized our formal charges. So we're looking at the central sulfur here, and we can see we have one, two, three, four pairs of electrons that are in the chemical bond. These are double bonds between the sulfur and the oxygen. So we have four bonding pairs of electrons. We have one lone pair of electrons, an unbonded pair of electrons up here. So four bonded pairs of electrons, and then just the one lone pair. Sulfur can actually have more than eight valence electrons. It can have an expanded octet. So this is an okay Lewis structure. You could also draw the Lewis structure for SO2 here. And in this case, you'd have resonance. You have a single bond here and a double bond here. We just flip that double bond, single bond. So if you counted the number of bonding pairs of electrons, you'd have one pair here, two, three bonding pairs of electrons. This line represents a pair of electrons. And then you'd have just one lone pair. When we talk about resonance, it's really an average of these two structures here. And if we looked at this in the lab, and if we studied SO2 in a laboratory environment, this would probably be a better representation of SO2, the SO2 molecule. But either way, that's how you count the lone pairs and bonding pairs of electrons for SO2, sulfur dioxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.